How about a second set of jazz voicings in another 2-5-1 progression? Let's go! I thought it's a good idea to take F major. If you take the F major scale, it's F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E and F. So the chord in the second step is G minor. The chord in the fifth step, that's C7. And then we got that F major. But well, of course, we're not using open voicings. We're going to use closed voicings. The closed voicing for the G minor 7 chord, that's like this. 3, 5, 3, 5. 3, 5, 3, 5. You can, of course, take four fingers for that chord. Then we got the C7 chord, and that's closed 3-4-3-3. Three, three, three. It's a Barry chord. 3-4-3-3. Three, three, three. And then we have the F major chord, which is oh, kind of tricky. It goes like 2-4-3-3. Uh, if you don't like that voicing, I'll give you a variant, which is much easier. And it's a berry on the 5th fret, just like the D minor 7 chord, but you'll add the ring finger on the 7th fret of the A string, so it's 5-5-5-7. Five, 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 That's also an F major shape. F major 7. So that's it, let's go! A one, two, three, four. And of course, you can mix the two F major voicings. So let's spice up these chords. We'll take a C9 chord instead of the C7. Well, the C9 chord is this one. 3-4-3-5. Three, Maybe we want to use an in-between chord from the F major back to the G minor 7. And we'll use an F sharp fully diminished, which is 2, 3, 2, 3. And of course you can use three fingers. So let's go! you can mix also So we used inversions to make things easier. Yeah, I hope you like these small tutorials. If yes, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, ideas or wishes, let me know in the comments. I'm really looking forward to what you're thinking. So, see you. This is...